Tell me about yourself. Good morning, sir. I am Nikita Reddy. I hmm. completed my bachelor's of technology in the R K Institute in the stream of computer science or engineering. I am hmm. good in manual testing like models. Hmm. I have done uh, Orange H R M hmm. in manual um, testing. Okay, sir. Uh, can I have your resume? Yes. It's my resume. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, you have done bachelor degree on uh, which one? B Tech, right? Oh, yes. And specialization is on computer science. Computer science engineering. Tell me anything that good about your college. In my college, uh, lecturers are very good. Mm -hmm. uh, they use it to provide uh, valuable notes. Mm -hmm. um, in my college, uh, there is a peaceful library. Okay. Whenever we feel low or disturbed, we we'll go to in that library and we will feel relaxed. Mm -hmm. okay. And good atmosphere. And uh, you are doing your computer science, right? Yes. So what are the uh, Interesting, interesting subject that you can prefer to uh, to study on to it. But in interesting, interesting subject. subject uh, mostly, I like data structures in my BTEC. Okay, data structures. So now, uh, now let's take uh, you written right. You know, good understanding agile methodology. Yes. I just want to know what can be the disadvantages in agile methodology. Uh, more documentation and time pressure. In agile, reason. we have documentation. Yes. Do you have agile? In agile, we have documentation. This is one thing agile saying that can it contains a documentation. What type of documentation do you generally see in agile? Uh, explain about agile process. Then. It is a most powerful model in mm -hmm. SDLC. Mm -hmm. uh, in that we closely interact with the users and uh, understand their needs. We use Scrum methodologies mm -hmm. and we use management tools like Jira. Mm -hmm. In that we have product uh, owner. We have some phases like product owner, sprint mm -hmm. uh, backlog, uh, and uh, scrum meetings, uh, daily stand up calls, review meetings, and re retrospective meetings. In product backlog, we have some um, sprints like mm -hmm. uh, inputs of the users. Product owner will prioritize the person, person can be technical, and person decides the duration of the sprint mm -hmm. coming to uh, scrum meetings. In that, every week, they will conduct daily status of work. They will update in that. Coming to retrospective, uh, they will discuss last of last day of the project. Like things went well, things not went well. In further, we will have any updates to enhance. Like we will discuss in the process. Okay. And uh, what is different between a waterfall model and an agile model? It is very easy to understand waterfall model, and each and every phase is very clear. Mm -hmm. It is a dependency. And uh, agile model, there is a new back process. Mm -hmm. So we can't add intermediate requirements in the waterfall model. Mm -hmm. Coming to agile model, it is a uh, in this we can know what user expects. Mm -hmm. In that way, we will perform the things. Okay, uh, you know defect, right? And not only one defect. How can you define a defect? Defect. Mm, it is a uh, if actual value is equal to the expected value. Mm -hmm. Then it will be it not called as a defect. If not equal to the actual value, it is a defect. Mainly, okay. it is a deviation from the expectations. Okay. Now let's take I have given application for you. Okay. On what basis will decide whether you go for manual or automation? I give an application for you to do it testing. On on what basis will define whether you go for automation or manual? Comparing test cases, writing test cases. That's for manual. I do agree. But how can you define it? Whether I can go with respect to application can be manual or automation. On what factors will take that manual or automation on that application? By saying the design? application, How? it is a very complex. Okay, well, if it is complex, then what you will do? We will go for automation. Okay. It's a. It's easy. We go for manual. I think so. Hmm. Then what about for automation then? In automation, we will to check the application. We write the test scripts to check the application. Okay. Now, what are the difference between system testing and uh, sorry, test designing and system designing? Test designing. Test designing and system designing. What are the difference between test designing and system designing? In test designing, uh, as per the requirements, mm -hmm. QA team will start the preparations uh, based on the test scenarios and test cases. Coming to system designing, developer will prepare the architectural design to check the application. In system design. Okay. And uh, what is different between a system testing and system integration testing? In system testing, we take the whole functionality to check the application. Because of doing system testing, 
we know what you what the requirement is working properly or not we will check sir like example uh, it's work based on if if we will done unit testing and integration testing then only system testing will be applicable coming to system integration testing uh, it will uh, integrations communications uh, two or more systems we will go for system integration testing like um, we have jio and airtel when we are calling it will available one way to another different it is known as system integration testing okay i have given application for you what are the initial first testing that we will do checking the application whether uh, proper uh, number of test cases is available or not first we check all the things okay only that factor will go to check no all factors but mainly is the checking all the requirements is available or not first okay so what are different between a product owner and a scrum master product owner is prioritize the person mm -hmm. and he will decides the sprint duration like in which sprint how many requirements will be take like that he will he will decide coming to scrum master if Yes, this scrum master. Mm. If any discrepancies between the teams, he will do all the discrepancies, discrimination between the team, and he will manages uh, meetings and calls between the scrum teams. Okay, and uh, my last question is, uh, what difference between a fixed defect and a reopened defect? Fixed defect means developer. Uh, if QA team will assign one defect to the developer, mm -hmm. developer will re retest or fix the defect. Okay. Reopen coming to reopen after if re re fixing he will assign to the QA QA member. When he will open that again he will face that problem again it going to the reopen and it will go to the same developer. Okay. Why it will continue the process. Okay, that is the primary difference between retest and a and a, a reopen. Retest means if there is any defect, it will again check and we will retest it, refix it. Reopen means um, there is a defect, we will reopen and we will check the defect. Okay, that's it from me. Do you have any questions? Yes. Is it a, no questions, right? Yeah, you can leave. No problem. Thank you.